Hello and welcome to this Affinity Photo tutorial where I want to look at using the lighting filter to just enhance pictures a bit but using the same filter twice to get two different effects. Now this is the original picture which I got from pixabay.com and I will add a link to this in the description for this video. The second one is like a more sort of normal use of the lighting filter just to add a bit of extra warmth and glow to the image and the second one is a, a more contrasty more arty type of image which I personally quite liked and but it's using the same filter but in a slightly different way for those of you that want to know where the lighting filter is there's two options you can come up to the filters menu and down to lighting now this method uses a, uses a destructive way of editing and I would personally not use that method. I would come to this icon in the layers panel down here and it looks like an hourglass. Click on that and lighting is near the bottom. And this is the non-destructive way of editing and to my mind the best way to do this. So to go on with the first step let's look at the original image now to this I'm going to add a blank layer and fill it with color now this is to help mute the lighting filter a bit just to give me that warm glow so to add a new filter again in the layers panel in the menu uh, icons down here we have add pixel layer and that will add the pixel layer above the background and I want to fill this with black and you can do this a couple of ways you could use the flood fill tool and then make sure the black is the highlighted option or you can come to the edit menu and come to fill now that's black in this case is the secondary color so fill with secondary color you fill that with black now I'm going to change the blend mode of this black layer to screen which will hide the black pixels but it will then help mute the lighting filter when I add it so if I then come to the live filters select lighting we have the live lighting options here now at the moment by default it's sort of set on this triangular option which would you know allow you to alter the lighting sort of and the lighting spread but i want to use what is called the point which will give me the center point of where the light emanates from and then you have this big circle of how far the light emanates out and you can alter the how far that lighting goes with the distance slider you can also sort of click on the line and drag it but I find it easier to use this now in this particular picture the Sun is behind the lady and to the right as I'm looking at it um, so I'm going to put sort of the center of this light point just to the right and behind her head and then spread out the light a bit further like that now currently by default the light color is set to white if I click on this color panel here we get the color options now mine is currently set on the HSL color wheel but you can use the drop down menu to pick other color picking options but I'll stick with this so I'm just going to pick an orange color um, I'm not going to pick any specific color I'm just going to do it by eye that will do if I then close that down so you can see we've now got that much warmer yellower glow and if I just turn off that lighting filter that's the original and that is with the uh, lighting filter added now this is when we come to the second step where I'm going to 
click and drag this filter above the black layer and I'll turn the black layer off because it's not necessary anymore so this is what that filter would look like without it being a child layer of the solid black layer you can see how much that solid black layer muted the colors down but if I change the blending mode of this lighting layer and I'm not going to change any other settings and I change this to multiply you then get that more arty contrasty image and at, again at the moment this might be a bit too strong so I just lower the opacity down to about 70-75% and there you get the different version so again if I turn that off that's the original and that's a new version so you can do either the more subtler warming up of an image or go for this like warmer contrasty more arty type image using the same sort of process of how you set up the lighting filter so one way you would need the black layer to help tone down that uh, lighting filter or just don't use the black layer and just add the lighting filter and change its blend mode to multiply so hopefully that will be um, everything you need to know about this sort of variation on using the lighting filter obviously it won't work on every image because you don't necessarily always have like a sunshine and light coming from certain directions and it's, a, it's more a case of it's dependent on the image so hopefully this has been of some help thank you for watching and goodbye